Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the Sunday Recap, my weekly vlog where I talk a bit about my last week in games and my last week was another one with only EVE Online. I played about an average amount, definitely played a little bit every single day, but still pretty busy out there when it comes to the amount of signatures and I don't want to do too much scanning uh, when you can get so many signatures to scan for the Doctor Who event that basically uh, are not what I want. And so as a result, I focused mostly on on running some anomalies hoping for some escalation got a couple unfortunately all of them in like null sec or low sec so it wasn't all that great but it's still for me a pretty enjoyable way to fly around in EVE Online get the NPC kills out of the way uh, grabbing a little bit of loot actually to my surprise I got uh, a couple of lucky hits with some modules that are worth several million from refuges and things like that you can get lucky there as well and well when I'm only focusing on the anomalies I also do a little bit of side sound it's just really slow paced but relaxing and uh, it works for me. The second bit that I did was more consolidation of all of the stuff I have in a Mars space and we made some really nice progress there. I managed to get all of the ships in a Mar, managed to get all of the tags, the implants, the skill books, all of those containers are now uh, empty basically in other places and moved into a Mar. Still been doing quite a bit of selling as well. It's going really well for PI, coolants or selling at crazy prices mechanical parts have been going up in price so that's been going well selling some implants here and there as well just trying to get liquid and make sure that I've got plenty of room and now there's still two very big uh, containers that I still need to move um, especially the one with the PI materials uh, and some advanced moon mat mats that's, that's still big it's still really a lot and uh, my pattern was noticed on a couple of evenings so a couple of scans including one from a tornado uh, luckily I didn't have too much in the cargo hold lots of bulky stuff that I was moving as well but overall yeah that's been a fun way for me to uh, actually spend some time in EVE Online as well while watching some uh, some off-screen stuff uh, it is just getting stuff together in the trade hubs and it's still a Mars space that's still the most bloated so I have been doing that and it's been going really well sales have been going quite nicely as well focusing on uh, as I've said PI uh, some implants but also some faction uh, items so faction modules are selling really well uh, other stuff not so hot so minerals took a big dive all of a sudden in a Mar uh, it doesn't need a lot to uh, to move the needle there but overall yeah that's what I've been doing uh, mostly in EVE Online BPCs are doing uh, pretty well as well all of a sudden all of my uh, structure BPCs got sold so there does seem to be some activity and some building or rebuilding that's happening somewhere in EVE Online because uh, all of those were gone in really a pretty short amount of time that was very nice to see as well and uh, so we're still doing that uh, BPCs are uh, being produced as we speak and uh, early next week I should be able to bring another batch there get my contracts up to the maximum and uh, watch the uh, the pretty passive uh, cash flow uh, maintain itself so that's really nice and then of course my PI uh, is something that I do every day as well and uh, since we are mostly producing coolants uh, mechanical parts and then another PI material well two of those are selling really well at the moment so I'm pretty happy uh, with that and uh, I on the regular but it's not on a weekly basis or something like that move that PI stuff into uh, MR as well and just it adds the sales it adds the stuff that I have available to the resources that I have available and uh, I took one stint into Jida as well uh, for a little bit of uh, market exploration and actually am trying a couple more purchases of really cheap tech 2 stuff there's a couple of them that are starting to show increased volatility it's still not enough uh, to convince me that we'll start to see volatility across the board and that we can start making some real investments hoping to get some returns in the short term but uh, as I've been saying for the last couple of months I am looking for those really uh, low prices those bargain sales in tech 2 ships and I'm slowly slowly trying to uh, to buy some of them here and there uh, so I think it was the nemesis uh, that uh, that I did an attempt into <clears throat> 
uh, last week and also one of the uh, one of the cruisers uh, one of the logistics cruisers I think went really low all of a sudden so that's still what I'm trying to do as well uh, trying to invest some of the ISK that I'm selling uh, from all of the stuff that I've been gathering uh, and turning that into some cheap tech to ship investments hopefully it will work out on the uh, news front for EVE Online yeah still not a lot I mean we were promised compression but uh, somewhere early 2021 and that's vague enough that uh, you know we could hear nothing in January unfortunately but uh, we will see of course I've mentioned this many times before since CCP is planning a real life fan fest this year which I think is planned for April uh, chances are of course that they are you know developing lots of stuff but also focusing on getting the hype going for fan fest itself so I am not expecting too much uh, mind shattering news uh, up until the weeks before fan fest because historically speaking uh, or at least in the last number of years that's what CCP has done is that they basically started deploying dev blocks uh, and things like that before Eve talk uh, before uh, fan fest excuse me so that they could uh, uh, then uh, you know have discussions and not have to you know not mention stuff uh, during fanfest but that all the information was basically dumped uh, in the days and weeks beforehand so i do look forward to that hopefully this is can come out with some really cool stuff but up until that point yeah i do think we're still in maintenance mode we saw that in the market as well uh, most stuff is just you know hanging on to the current either high or low prices not really sure where to go and that's because we're just so short on news when it comes to what's happening or what's planned for the development of EVE Online uh, and then maybe a, a quick uh, final chapter here for uh, for this video I do want to mention that uh, yeah I'm looking very much looking forward to the next leak for Path of Exile we should get uh, the information next week I think it's on the 27th or something like that and then the week after that on the 4th of uh, February uh, that's when we get the next leak launch uh, and I think it was called Arch Nemesis in one of those teaser videos so uh, uh, absolutely looking forward to that i hope that my plan because i have a build uh, somewhat uh, ready somewhat planned out that i want to test for this one that it'll still work because of course we don't know what's going to be nerfed by ggg uh, this week or what cool new abilities they'll deploy into the game uh, for this league but uh, yeah that's something that i'm actually uh, starting to plan for looking forward to and uh, if you uh, you know enjoy path of exile uh, but you don't follow it too closely know that next week we'll get the information and then a week after that we should see a league launch so that's it for this last week in games guys thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time